Imagine. Invent. Inspire. Be a Sparkster. The Sparkster platform is your gateway to building virtually anything you want. This platform is capable of creating anything as simple as a well-being app for your precious pet to enterprise-grade scalable software solutions for business manufacturing and operations. So, let's start with creating a life hack for you. We live in a world of gaming, gadgets, IoT and high-tech solutions. Thousands of YouTubers are cashing in from simply reviewing these solutions. So, let's say you're Marcus Brown Lee, a 20-year-old college student who's been hailed the best technology reviewer on the planet right now. Say Marcus wants to create a life hack app to automate the process of notifying his fans, posting reviews and inviting people to view his reviews as soon as he gets his hands on something new. I hear you all saying how the hell can he do that without knowing how to code? Well, let me show you. So, the best way to build your life hack app is like a story. The first thing to do is create the story statement. So, for Marcus's life hack app, the story would be When I have a new gadget to review, create an event in my calendar to review it and send out a tweet to inform my fans of my upcoming review. Simple. This story helps you to think through the logical order and key steps of your life hack invention. After your story statement, highlight all the key deciding action words. Now, what do I mean by action words? Well, key action words are when I have a new gadget, create a calendar event, or send a tweet. There you go. Now, all you have to do is connect the keywords together into a logical story flow. And for that, let me invite you to the makerspace where your dream inventions can become a reality. So when you get your login and you first log into the Sparkster platform, you will see three options, makerspace, web factory and marketplace. The marketplace is where you can exchange your inventions for Spark tokens. The web factory is where you can design beautiful interfaces and create accessible, user-friendly databases for your inventions. So, to create this gadget review app for Marcus, let's go to the makerspace where the magic truly happens. Let me show you around. It's a bit like Lego, but with blobs and blocks. Here's your feature friend, the when blob. You can simply drag and drop these blobs into the canvas and start constructing your storyline. The when blob usually triggers your story as every effect has a cause. If the trigger of your story is an entry into a database, then you need to create that database first. I'll show you in just a second what I mean. This is the connector blob where you can link your invention to practically any of your favorite platforms and apps. Like in this case, with this story, you want to connect to Google Calendar and Twitter. This here is the if blob. You can create rules and conditions for things in your story to happen. There is also a repeat blob and your database and designer blob, which is currently called the document blob. Here you can organize the data and personalize the look and feel of your life hack app. This one is the function blob. This enables you to create complex conditions and rules for all the components in your story. Let's bring up the story. When I have a new gadget to review, create an event in my calendar to review it and send out a tweet to inform my fans of my upcoming review. Great, so now logically we have to create a document or some sort of database where Marcus can store information about all of his gadgets. Every time a new gadget is added, it could trigger the story. This is what I meant earlier by a database triggering the story. So all we do now is drag and drop the document blob into the Makerspace canvas. Once you have dropped the document blob onto the Makerspace canvas, the Sparkster platform automatically pops up with a pop-up asking you to name your document. It's like you're naming your database for where you're going to put all these gadgets. Let's call it My New Gadgets. 
There you go. After that, you want to name each field. So we're looking at naming the first field gadget name. It's just like creating an Excel document, but way easier because all you have to do is fill out this form. And once you're done, just simply click on let's design. Where it takes you is the web factory. Remember how I mentioned earlier about the web factory? It's a place where you can really get creative. Think about your backgrounds, your font sizes, what kind of fields you want. So let me show you around. At the bottom of the web factory canvas, you have a whole set of things in your menus. If you look under widgets, you can see you have fields and these fields are currency, email, number, text box. You can literally drag and drop these into your canvas to create your interface for your database. You can also insert buttons into your interface. And as you can see, there's a whole range of things from social icons and maps that you can insert. If you have a look at the text option, here you can actually format your text in terms of color, fill, line, as well as font. You can also insert images from your computer and that enables you to choose whatever background you like for your interface for this particular document. One of the most important buttons in Web Factory is this one, behavior. If you click on it, you can see exactly what's happening in the background in the Sparks the Platform. You can see how these blocks all work together to form the logic of building your page as you go along, dragging and dropping the elements that you want. So here we can see that it's created a document and whenever you've got a button, it has a particular logic block that says when this button is click, do the following. And when you have a button, it has a logic block that says when this button is clicked, do the following. And all you really have to do is snap those things in place if you want to do that from the back end. So let's go back now to our example. Now that you've seen what Web Factory looks like, say we're creating this app and we clicked on Let's Design. Here we go. It actually creates the entire interface for you based on the form that you just filled out. Now you can add some more fields. If you go to widgets and insert, for example, a drop down or a label. So for example, we've got gadget name, gadget type, the speed of the gadget, the battery life. Now, if you click on behavior, you'll be able to see exactly what's going on in the background. Create and display gadget name as a text field. We did that simply by filling out a form. When you created the drop down menu for the speed, here we can program the drop down menu in plain English. Watch this. We're just going to pick up the my value block, which is a custom block, and you can type in plain English into this block. So say the speed was 0 to 20, 0 to 40, and 40 to 60 miles per hour. That's it. You have a drop down menu without writing any code. So this app is for all new gadgets that Marcus gets. Say in this case, he's actually bought a drone. So let's insert the image of the drone. There you go. Simple as that. What if we want to make this interface pretty? All we do is you go to settings and background and insert a really nice image for Marcus's app. We can also change the background of the highlighted sections and borders and lines. Now that we're done with creating this interface, all we do is press save and do we want to add it to our main menu so that we can access it later? Yes, we do. There we go. Your document has been saved. And guess where you end up? The Sparks the Platform will automatically take you back to Makerspace. And it will ask you, what do you want to do with this particular document that you've just created? So the trigger will be whenever we have a new record. So let's start our workflow. In order to start, we want to delete this particular document because that isn't going to be first in the workflow. It was just there for us to create the document and the database. Now let's drag the when block. Oh, what's your trigger? Well, we know that the trigger of this particular workflow is going to be document. 
the document we just created. It asks you, which document is it? Well, it's the My New Gadgets document. So we're going to select that. Every time the My New Gadgets document is saved, we want you to trigger this workflow. Start the story. Now what? Well, let's go back to our story. Every time a new gadget is inserted into my database, I want to create an event in my Google Calendar to review that gadget. So I'm literally going to pick up the Google Calendar integration from the connectors and drop it into the Makerspace. The Sparks the Platform automatically asks you, what do you want to do with the Google Calendar connector? I want to create a new calendar event. So let's go ahead and click on that. It asks you to automatically sign in to your Google account. Now here's the magical part. A lot of code usually goes into connecting something like this. Sometimes pages of code can go into creating when I create this document, send an instruction to Google Calendar to create an event. Well, the beauty of this is that in the Sparkster platform, all you have to do is simply kiss the two blobs together. Once you've kissed them together, it creates all the code for you. Now you can see the story unfolding. Whenever I insert a new gadget into my gadgets document, create a calendar invite. And there we go, it automatically pops up. Now it's asking you to decide exactly what you want to put in your calendar when a particular gadget has been added onto your database. And all you have to do is take each one of these little Lego blocks and delete them. And you want to insert your own custom value. And you can literally add in a time zone, a start time for your event, an end time for the event. And you can call your event whatever you like. So let's call it the Gadget Test Bash. So what's next in the story? Well, we wanted to send out a tweet every time we have a new gadget to review and every time we put something into the calendar. So here we go, just drag and drop the Twitter connector into the canvas. And all you have to do then is follow the prompts. What do you want to do with the Twitter connector? Well, I want to send a tweet. Done. Log into Twitter. Now just kiss the Google Calendar blob and the Twitter blob together. And there you go. It will ask you, what do you want to send in your tweet? And this is really simple, as simple as putting in a blank block and typing in, hey, I've just got my hands on this DJI Mavic 2 Pro drone review video coming soon. And that will automatically send a tweet for you. Now we want to name our app. So we're going to call it Gadget Reviews. And click Save. And voila, you have created an app with no developer and no code. And it will send information to your Google Calendar and tweet for you automatically every time you insert something into your document. Let's see how it works. So we're going to go to document and click on my new gadget. Let's put in the drone. The gadget type, select the speed and the battery life. And click on save. Guess what? If I go to my Google Calendar right now, there you go. The gadget test bash is there. And if I go and log into my Twitter, I can see the tweet just there. Just got my hands on DJI Mavic 2 Pro drone review video coming soon. Congratulations.